all of the facilities that we said that we would have in place and that we provided information through the insurance process um, have put in place. So we now have uh, direct access GP pathways going directly into the Hammersmith. The UCC at Hammersmith is operating uh, on a 24-7 basis. Uh, we have got um, an enhanced assessment of area and also an ambulatory care facility for emergency ambulatory care at the Hammersmith now. Um, we have transferred um, our uh, medical resource, so we've got three additional um, medical staff, both at Charing Cross and at St Mary's. We've got additional um, emergency nurse practitioners now in place at uh, St Mary's and at the Charing Cross. We've already employed one additional consultant in, uh, in a paediatric uh, ED consultant uh, at St Mary's, and we've got five other uh, consultant ED um, practitioners coming um, into the department uh, from around December and January time. So all of the sort of uh, facilities that we said that we would be putting in place um, have been put in place. The uh, performance and uh, activity that we've seen, so we've seen uh, the increase in attendances uh, to St Mary's in particular that are in line with the average that we expected. Uh, the difference that we've seen is there's a degree of volatility in that, so uh, there are peaks in attendances at either side of that average. Um, on obviously, two, two and a half weeks uh, post closure, we are just working through how we uh, ensure that we're providing the capacity against those peaks in demand. For the first two weeks after the closure, um, our performance was um, under the 95% national standard, so at 94.35 and then 93.68, and in the third week they improved back to 95.92, and we delivered the ED performance measure at 95% for quarter one and quarter two, and year to date uh, present, and are anticipating continued performance in Q3.